Hi friends! The purpose of the color fastness test is to determine the color range resulting from the exposure to seawater and the staining it causes in adjacent fabrics. We will use the perspirometer device for this test. The sample is tested in this device. The sample is put with the acrylic resin plates into the perspirometer. We place a 5 kilogram weight which can apply 2.5 kPa pressure on the perspirometer. The single fiber adjacent fabric or multi-fiber adjacent fabric can be used as the adjacent fabric. We will use the multi-fiber adjacent fabric today. Besides this, we need distilled water and sodium chloride to prepare the sea water solution. We can use a template to prepare the sample or we can cut the fabric in sizes of 10 cm by 4 cm with a ruler. If there is a possibility to confuse the front and reverse sides of the sample, we can mark the reverse side to avoid confusion. We are sewing along the short side in a way that the adjacent fabric and the test sample are facing each other. If the seams are not very tight, it will be easier to remove the sample from the adjacent fabric. In this way, we have prepared the sample. If the sample is fiber or yarn, the amount of fiber or yarn used should be equal to half of the adjacent fabric weight. The sample is prepared by sewing the multi-fiber adjacent fabric to one side of the sample and the undyable polypropylene fabric to the other side. Now we will prepare the seawater solution for the sample exposure. For this, we are weighing 30 grams of sodium chloride. This sodium chloride is put into a beaker. The distilled water is added and they are mixed. After making sure that the sodium chloride is solved in the water, the solution is transferred to the balloon. Making use of the pipette when transferring the solution to the balloon, we make sure that it flows directly inside the balloon without touching the sides of the balloon. We shake the bottom of the beaker with distilled water. And then we fill the beaker with distilled water. Mm -hmm. 
To make sure that the balloon holds one liter of solution, we look at the line on the balloon. The lower level of the liquid is exactly parallel to the line because it is a colorless liquid. We shake the solution and then the seawater solution is ready. We put the sample, which was prepared for the color fasteners, against the seawater test into a container and we add 100 milliliters solution. If the sample is a thick one, we add more solution. We make sure that the surface of the sample is completely covered with the solution. We mix the solution with a glass rod to make it penetrate into the sample very well and we wait for a while. As soon as we have made sure that the solution is absorbed into the sample very well, we remove the sample and filter the excess solution. Then, the sample is placed between the acrylic resin plates and put into a perspirometer. The plates are centered on the bottom of the device. Having put the upper and bottom brackets in their place, the 12.5 kPa weight is placed on them. And the excess solution is filtered if there is any. Now the sample is ready. The sample is put into the oven previously adjusted to 30 degrees centigrade and is exposed to the test for four hours. The sample is put into the oven vertically and the oven must be closed quickly to prevent any fall of temperature. And then we wait for four hours. The sample is removed from the oven when the four hours are over. The sample is removed from the oven and the oven is set at 60 degrees centigrade and the sample is hanged along its short edge. After the sample has dried, the test is finished to determine the staining and color change. The second step of the evaluation is the degree of color change. To do this, the original sample is placed to the left side and the tested sample is placed to the right side. And the difference between these samples is determined using a mask. The difference between them is determined by a color fading scale. The values on the scale range from 1 to 5, whereby 1 is the worst and 5 is the best value. The test result is given by comparing the difference between the original and the test sample with the scale.